This is the OEM 2018 rear limited subdifferential out of an STI. If you look inside it, you can see that it's got these warm gears. And you can find uh, pull-away diagrams uh, of showing this. You can kind of see the gears inside there as well. So this is a classic Torsen style differential. Now, how this works is that when there is a slipping condition between the two axles, force is applied to these gears. And then these gears create friction amongst themselves and it locks up the two axles. I go into here. Now, this is a good design from an OEM perspective, OEM perspective because with a design like this, you don't need to change fluid often. Uh, you don't need to do really any maintenance on it. There's no adjustment to it. It does provide limited slip action and it's there for the lifetime of the car effectively. So this is why in most applications, you're gonna find, if there is a limited slip diff, you're going to find this. Now, just for comparison, I'm just gonna run out and get you. This is from a WRX. Didn't have it prepared there, but you can see that this is the differential uh, in action. So basically these, these spider gears allow a differential in speed between the two axles, but there's nothing to lock them. So when you're applying power to this thing and, and it spins, it slip on one axle and no slip on the other. Uh, basically this will transfer all the torque to the axle that's slipping. So a step up from this is your Torsen style differential. Now we're obviously pulling this out of the car for a reason other than, hey, we just love to get greasy. And the reason is to replace it with this. Now this is the Cusco 1.5 weight plated differential. And you know, you can see the clutch plates right, right in there. And you can see the 1.5 weight pin here. So under acceleration, basically this pin applies force to these two uh, angular pieces. It splits them apart and that locks these clutch plates effectively locking the two axles together. Now, the, like, why, why would we prefer something like this versus a torsen? Well, there's a few reasons. The positive lock on a plated differential like this is not only adjustable, but it's much stronger. These friction plates inside here offer a lot more friction amongst each other than you get the on the edges of these gears in the torsen and that means that your wheels really lock strongly together and should you lift up a wheel or you have a cambered curve that you're going up then this differential will still lock up whereas this differential requires one wheel or the slipping wheel to have some level of torque applied to it. So it cannot be in the air or it cannot be slipping excessively. So effectively, a differential like this offers a more positive lock and slippery conditions uh, when you get one wheel off the ground and therefore it's more effective. What, what is the downside of this? Well, it also locks at really low speed so you get some popping and parking lot speeds when you're doing tight turns. It also requires more maintenance. So these clutch plates do wear over time. You can open this thing up and service it. Um, you can also open it up and, and adjust it and put different clutch plates in. Maybe that's a positive. Uh, the other thing is that uh, it, um, it requires more frequent fluid changes because you get more friction on the parts inside. So for our track purposes, obviously you don't want an open diff like this. In the car, the STI never came with an open diff like this. Uh, this is what's in there. It, it serves its purpose for, for the OEM uh, and for most people, but if you want to really focus on the track and maximizing grip or in very slippery conditions, then you want to move to something like this. That's a plated differential. So now you see them side by side, and uh, now we're just going to uh, put this guy back together and it will fall new bearings. We're gonna have the car on track. We're here at Mission with the WRX. We finally got everything sorted. So let's jump in straight into a lap, one of our fastest laps of the day, and see how it does with the, uh, with the new LSD in the back.
the suspension sorted, the white line parts have been removed that had failed, uh, the uh, limited subdiff, the, the Cusco is in there, and it was right off the bat worth half a second over where we were last time. Effectively the same setup. So there you go. It does work. Uh, highly recommend it. The confidence you get from your rear end with, with that differential is makes a big, big difference and how you can drive the car and it's also how rewarding it feels. So, and this is a really, really hot day. I think we can beat our personal PB and uh, and that's uh, that's what we're going to be shooting out next, uh, shooting for next time we're out here uh, with this car and maybe adding a little bit more power. So stay tuned for that.